question one. The Tej Mead style. What country is the Tej Mead style from? Is it Germany? Is it Israel? Is it Greece? Is it Ethiopia? Be sure to cast your vote. You might have two monitors up. You might have something. Don't cheat. Come on, use your knowledge. If you don't know an answer, do not be the person who goes and looks it up on Google. That's lame. Don't be that person. If you don't know it, take it as a learning opportunity and grow. Let's grow together. It is from Ethiopia. If you got that right, congratulations. Question two. We got a lot of questions to go, so we're gonna move fast. Calculating the ABV, it's worth 2,000 points. What's the correct formula for calculating ABV? Is it A? Is it B? Is it C? Is it D? Go. The answer is C. Starting gravity minus final gravity times 131.25 equals alcohol by volume. Question three. We got how many ounces or ounces in one gallon of honey? How many ounces are in one gallon? gallon of honey now this is someone asked earlier about a calculator if you know how many ounces are in one pound of honey you have to do a little bit of math quick math but again you got 60 seconds oh, how much time we have left 192 ounces oh this one was tricky dunkel congratulations dunkel question number four it's about the viking blood mead so here's a question what main fruit is notable in the Viking blood mead. Is it blueberry? Is it cherry? Is it raspberry? Or is it strawberry? Should have skipped mead before this stream. <laughs> oh man. I'll have a prize for the biggest natural negative loser. Um, the correct answer is cherry. That is the main fruit that's notable in the Viking blood mead. Question number five. Here we go. This is about sack meads. Now, if you don't know what a sack mead is, good luck. What is a sack mead? Is it a mead that, A, is it a mead that is generally low ABV? B, a mead that is standard strength? Oh, C, a mead mead <laughs> that is higher strength. I love myself a good mead mead. And then D, I don't know, I'm sacked to myself. Um, it is C, a mead mead, it's just a mead, that is higher strength. Generally, sack meads are things notably above 14% or above, from what I've found. So. That's, that is the answer right there. Question number six. Guess the amount. Now here's the question, this is worth 500 points. How many, uh, 12 gallons of honey equals how many pounds? So you're gonna type in, I believe you type in a number and whoever's, if you're closest, um, you get more points or if you get it exactly right. Oh, is that the ABV question? 120 pounds. 12 gallons is 120 pounds. 12 gallons is 144 pounds. We've got some people who got the total right answer. The lowest answer was 12. <laughs> and whoever this man is right here, he, he answered 2,304. Here we go, question number seven. This is all about the hydrometer, y'all. All about the hydrometer. How high does the standard hydrometer read? Is it 1.170? Is it 1.150? Is it 1.130? Is it 1.160? Now when I say standard, uh, if you were to buy a hydro high hydrometer off of Amazon, you're gonna get this measurement, points of gravity, pretty quick. The answer was 1.160. That is generally the highest gravity you can read on a standard hydrometer. Question number eight, who's the Morat now? This is bad dad jokes. Um, what kind of berry does a Morat mead use? Is it a mulberry? Is it a cloudberry? Is it a gooseberry? Is it a lingonberry? So, uh, unfortunately you can't join if you just joined late, but you can still answer at home. I challenge you to answer at home. Um, the answer is mulberries. So that is what a Morat. A Morat uses mulberries. Work. Question number nine. What honey am I? What honey has a distinct malty characteristic? Is it buckwheat? Is it fireweed? Is it gallberry? Or is it avocado? Now, in hindsight, thinking about this one, um, some people might find different characteristics. I realize there's a flaw in my answer. And uh, so, 
Hopefully you, you are on the same brain wavelength as me. Jacob, you got kicked out? Did you accidentally exit out? What happened? That's weird. I'm sorry. My parents' mulberry tree didn't bear any fruit last year. That's sad. I'm sorry. EMT425. Welcome, my friend. Glad you're here. Crossing my fingers for this year. I hope so, too. We got about 10 seconds if you haven't responded. And uh, I think after this one, maybe, there might be an update on the score. We'll see if anybody, if anything has changed. A grain-derived honey tends to be malty. There we go. Reading into the question, the answer, or the, the correct answer, rather, is buckwheat honey. Which, like you said, has that. Then, this is about Shram's mead. You might not know him, but you might have heard of this mead. What is Ken Shram's most notable mead named? Is it Eric the Red? Is it Bramble? Is it Heart of Darkness? Or is it The Duel? By the way, those are all names from Ken Shram. I did not make any up. It is the Heart of Darkness. Again, this is one of those meads that um, is super well known in the mead community because Ken Shram is, well, He's like one of, because of his book and because of his notability, notoriety, he is a super prominent mead maker in our community. The Heart of Darkness is one of those things. So, yeah, I uh, definitely would love to, uh, would love to try it one day. Question 11, guess my style. I'm a mead that features honey, water, yeast, and clove. What am I? Am I a show mead? Am I a Polish mead? Am I a methaglin? Am I a traditional? What am I? Again, discrepancy. Um, some of you might say, well, me, me, it's this. If the most prominent flavor is this. Well, I think generally, if you're adding a spice into something, it changes it on a bottle. But I have not spent 60. The correct answer is a methaglin. Methaglins are generally uh, meads that use a spice of some sort. So there's that right there. Next question, question number 12. Don't be a hypocrite. Let's be real, y'all. Don't be a hypocrite, okay? What is a hypocrite? Let's talk about it. Is it a juice-based mead with hops? Is it a piment with spices or botanicals? Is it a melomel with spices? Or is it a mead with botanicals? Tricky, tricky, tricky. Is mead coming? No heart of darkness. No. Um, a hippocross is a pie mint with spices or botanicals. Ooh, I, I tricked some of y'all. I said a mead with botanicals, and that that got some of you guys. It's a pie mint. Number thirteen. Maple who? Silly name. I'm a mead with maple syrup and honey as the main flavors. What am I? Am I a Boche? Am I a traditional mead? Am I an Acer Glen? Or am I a maple wine? Ooh. Gotta throw in those options. And the answer is. Uh, maybe. It is. Oh, good if it's gonna load. C! It is an Acer Glen. An Acer Glen features maple syrup within honey character as well. A maple wine is honey, or excuse me, maple syrup completely. So that's what's a little tricky. Some people think that maple syrup as the base makes it a, a Acer Glen. Not quite. Number 14, what's the ABV? This is the challenging one. My starting gravity is 1.130. My final gravity is 1.032. What is my final ABV? Now this is a close. You can only round up, you have to round up or down. So don't use your calculator, use your brain. I know that some of you might not know for sure, but my hint is 131.25. The correct answer is 13%. That's real rough, of course. Um, there's a little bit of adjustment there, but roughly about 13. If you guessed 13, you're correct. If you're close, you're on it. To continue on, question 15. What am I? The real question we all ask. What is the honey and water mixture before the yeast called? Is it called the wart? Is it called the kumis? Is it called heaven? Or is it called the must? Um, the answer to this question is must. 
Um, so honey water mixture is must. Um, wart is the uh, beer version. Kumis is something I made. I found somewhere randomly. In heaven is true, but not true. Number sixteen. Find the Tupelo honey. This one's gonna be a challenge, y'all. If you know where Florida is, you'll survive. Find where in Florida is Tupelo honey from. So if you don't know where Florida is, then you might be out of luck. Oh, and the answer is, well, it's this dot right here, Florida. But Tanner was the closest. It's on like the, the coastish area and it's up closer less of the less of the pecker how about that it's less of the pecker Number 17 what's the most expensive honey worth a thousand points again what's the most expensive honey is it greek honey is it macadamia honey is it uh, acai fun was that right a, a, a acai acai no i don't know how to say that is this acaia gross i can't say it or manuka oh florida Talk about Florida, man. The answer is Manuka. Manuka honey is one of the most expensive. Now there's another one I found that was like, I don't know, like $2,000 for like a half a pound of it. And I was like, nobody on the earth knows what that is. If anybody can find it, great. But it's Manuka. Manuka honey is the most expensive generally you can buy. Number 18, I think five more, I don't know. Oh, the, actually we're the last three. <laughs> Here we are. How many meads have I brewed or logged in my brew journal? Um, I have said this before on the channel, on the stream before. So if you've tuned into a stream, you can get a more accurate answer. I'll give you a, ooh, we got a, wow, look at the spread. Oh, then we got somebody who just threw, threw a thousand number out. It is 148, wow, someone got real close. Question number 19, what's my personal, my personal favorite honey to use? By the way, these are, you don't get penalized for not answer, answering, but you do get points for answering close or correctly. And I have mentioned this on stream before. Is it buckwheat? Is it alfalfa? Is it avocado? Or is it blueberry? Whew. Avocado blossom. Oh, I know that was a tricky one. I love blueberry honey. I love buckwheat. Oh, well, I can say the kind of like buckwheat honey. That's further on the list. 20. This is the final question. Y'all ready for this? What was the first mead that I ever dumped? This is a throwback to see if you remember. I Again, I've mentioned this on stream, but it's been, I think I mentioned it two weeks ago or maybe three weeks ago. What was the first mead I ever dumped? Was it a strawberry hydromel? Was it a blueberry mead? Was it a sizer with cinnamon or was it a dry hopped mead? And the answer is a strawberry hydromel. Now, fun story about this bad boy right here. Um, I made a hydromel and added strawberries into the secondary. And I dumped the mead because I thought the, um, I thought it was mold that developed on top. And what I'm finding after more research and time is that it was a thing called peck, peck is something. I don't know. It was some fungus that had grown, but was not or was it a fungus or bacteria or something? It would have been fixable, but I just gave up. So, that's me.